In this video, we will be demonstrating a dial application built in collaboration with the International Monetary Fund called StatGPT. In a nutshell, StatGPT serves as an intelligent data assistant and analyst that enables people to use natural language to extract meaningful information from IMF's massive volume of economic data. Complicating things further, this data is stored across several datasets. While we won't dive into the technical details of the implementation, the quick explanation is that all of the IMF's metadata is embedded into a vector database, from which we retrieve the most relevant contexts based on the user's prompt. We use this to enrich the resulting prompt that is sent to the LLM. We construct the SDMX query based on the LLM's response and call the SDMX API to get the resulting data from the IMF's databases. StatGPT also has a built-in flow orchestrator to help route queries to the right conversational agent based on the user's prompt. Let's walk through a few examples of the types of conversations you can have with StatGPT. In the interest of saving some time and tokens, I'll be using playback mode to go through examples of real conversations that we already had with StatGPT. We'll start by asking the agent to help us get started. I'd like to point out the response mode here. In this case, we ask a generic question about the application, and the agent tells us that it can help us construct an SDMX query, but it needs us to provide some information like countries, indicators, and time period. It can also answer some basic questions about indicators and economic metrics. Suppose we're interested in studying the relationship between unemployment and inflation. StatGPT's metadata and query agent can suggest indicators and retrieve the country codes for each of the countries we're interested in studying, and begin constructing the query for us. We adjust the query accordingly, removing indicators and changing the duration until we end up with exactly the query we want, which we can validate directly from the UI. Next, we ask it to retrieve the data. This calls the execute query agent, which constructs the actual XDMX query, calls the SDMX API, and generates some basic charts and usable output. This is real data extracted from the IMF and presented in the chat UI. Let's take this a step further by asking it some questions about the retrieved data. We'll start with a simple question. Which country had the lowest unemployment rate in 2023? This calls the data analytics agent, which knows to answer the question in the context of the existing conversation, meaning G20 countries. This agent tells us its plan to answer the question, generates the Python code to do so, which can be validated by a human, and gives us the answer. Next, let's use our data visualization agent to draw a more interesting plot for analysis. Here, the agent generates Python code and leverages the Plotly library to create a chart with a dual y-axis comparing unemployment rate and consumer prices. One useful feature of Dial for developers is that its unified API makes it easier to write an application that leverages multiple different large language models. StatGPT takes advantage of this by including a vision to text model as well, which allows us to do things like ask our plot interpretation agent to leverage GPT-4 vision with extra context to analyze the chart that we just generated. This conversation highlights some of the distinct agents that exist within StatGPT all working in unison. We could spend hours showing more examples of conversations that economic analysts have with StatGPT, but to wrap this up in a timely manner, we'll just visually speed through a few more examples of the complex code generation, interesting visualizations, and advanced calculations that StatGPT can provide. We hope this brief demonstration was useful not only in highlighting the types of conversations you can have with this StatGPT application, but also in illustrating how Dial APIs and applications, specifically with flow orchestration and talk to your data frameworks, can be used to significantly improve conversational workflows and tackle specific client requirements more effectively. Thank you.